Alrighty, let's get started. Um, for code editing, I've chosen one that's called Komodo Edit, and it's free. Um, you're free to use this one or to use any other code editing tool that you feel mo the most comfortable with. My advice is to pick one, to try a couple of them, pick one that you like and just stick with it. Um, in my courses, I, I use different code editors because sometimes I'm in the mood for one or another. And also, I just want to show you um, how flexible this can be. I don't want you to really um, get married with one particular code editor so early in your, in your learning path. So let's get started. I have um, an almost empty HTML document here, which contains the, the head, the body, and all of the corresponding tags. And I'm, I'll show you two manners of adding JavaScript code. First thing I want to say, JavaScript code, just like HTML code, is basically text. So um, it's code, it's text that we're going to write, whether in, whether it's in this file or in, a, in an external file. That external file is also going to be a text, a text file. But the extension of the external files when working with JavaScript is .js. OK, first uh, manner of including JavaScript code is by using the script tag. The code editor I'm using has auto completion, so it's automatically closed the script tag. Inside of the script tag is where I entered my JavaScript code. We haven't really learned any JavaScript coding yet, so I'm just going to write alert, which allows you to um, show a pop up, a pop -up um, window that's going to say hello. And I'll save this. When you open a website, it, it always gets loaded from top to bottom. So these things get processed first, and then when we reach the JavaScript code, all of the statements, all of the lines of code that we'll write are processed from top, uh, in a top-down manner. So I'm in my web browser here, I have this page loaded, uh, but I need to reload it now that we've modified things, and I can do that by using um, this button, the reload page button, or by pressing F5 in the keyboard. So I'm going to press F5 and you'll see that now the JavaScript code gets executed and I get um, an alert box that says hello. That's one way of including JavaScript code. Another equivalent way is to also use the script tag, but in this script tag we're going to specify an external file, a source attribute. The file that I'll include is going to be in the same folder as index.html and it's going to be called script.js. <coughs> it's important here to close this tag and to close it in this way, not to, if you could just close it like that, it's not going to work, it needs to be closed like this. Um, now where to place, where to place the script tags when you were including files, it's recommended to do it at the very bottom, right before the closing of the body. The reason being that um, the page gets loaded um, top down, as I mentioned, and if you're including external files, it's going to look for those files before rendering the rest of the page. So you always want the page to be rendered for the final user as fast as it can be, and then behind the scenes it keeps on loading um, other JavaScript files. Um, there are cases when you're using JavaScript in your body where you need the file that, that declares that JavaScript loaded um, beforehand, but most cases you're okay with putting this at the end and it's a recommended best, best practice. It's a different case with um, style tags, with CSS. Those need to always be loaded at the beginning because once the page is rendered in the browser, it, it, it doesn't get modified by the CSS changes. So you want to have the CSS first and then you render the page. Now let's create this script.js file because we have that pending still. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to type in the same code as I typed before, which is going to be hello and um, semicolon at the end. And I'm going to save this in the folder where the other one, where the other file is, script.js. And now if I reload the page, you'll see that um, it's loading that external file and it's saying hello. So just to summarize, 
two ways of including JavaScript. They both involve using the script tag. You can uh, put it in an external file or you can do it directly in your code. If you're um, including external files, it's always recommended to put them at the end of your body, um, except for particular cases, but 90% of the time you, you're good with putting them at the end for better performance.